Live from the CBS2 Broadcast Center in Chicago, this is CBS2 News. Good Sunday evening. I'm Chris Ty. Jim Williams has the night off. It is one of the most iconic names in the Chicago food scene. The grills at Lowry's, the prime rib, will be turned off for good at the end of the year. For 46 years, the Mag Mile staple has served up special occasion meals. CBS 2's Stephen Graves tonight tells us it's the latest culinary casualty of this pandemic. And from birthdays to anniversaries, loyal customers say they will miss it here immensely. The family that owns this place says the decision to close was hard, but it was time. For close to half a century, 46 years, Lowry's, the prime rib restaurant, has been a staple in downtown Chicago. Its location right off the magnificent mile, serving up its signature meats put on plates by master carvers. A business passed down from generation to generation. The Chicago location, part of the president and CEO Ryan Wilson's fondest memories. Just remember um, coming into the city, my first time to Chicago, my first time to Lowry's, and the immediate warmth I felt from our coworkers, it, it's like they'd known me all my life. But after all this time, the doors will close by the end of the year. The decision, not an easy one, but an expiring lease mixed in with the COVID-19 pandemic and the city's recent civil unrest was a sign to make change. I think it's been a, it's been a long closure. I think it's been compounded by all the very disturbing um, social unrest and protests in the city. And that's impacted our business, but I, I think that one also just has really impacted my concern for the safety of our coworkers. The business that occupies the McCormick Mansion will still host special events over the next few months. Wilson says while the lights go dim here, things might come back at another home in Chicago down the line. Yeah, I want to be part of the dining culture, um, so I want to get back. And it is a key piece of our strategy to get back to Chicago, but uh, not right now. And the CEO says he made this announcement so early to give people the time to come and staff the chance to really process this. The doors officially close here December 31st. Reporting here in downtown Chicago, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. Stephen, thanks.